Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So let's have this uh, small update here before I go dinner. I was just having a little beer. We have very nice weather here in Switzerland. I'm streaming out of Zurich. So let me know in the live chat where are you watching from. The chat is open. So um, we're streaming right now from uh, Twitch. In case that you're watching the YouTube replay, then make sure that next time you're also tuning in in the live stream so you can also uh, put whatever comment you want here in the live stream and also let me know if you have something you want me to analyze or anything like that. If you have a specific altcoin you want me to watch during the live stream, you can put it here in the live chat. And down below here in the video description, uh, you find the link to my Twitch channel, Alessandro the Crypto, same like here on YouTube. All right, so once again, before we start uh, with the um, current update, because Bitcoin could have here a potential big breakout with a target of at least $12,200. I want to say thank you again very much for your support, guys. And... And not only here on YouTube, but also on Twitch and of course on Discord, uh, we have a very great community over there with some very nice tips and informations also not only regarding to Bitcoin, but also um, regarding to some uh, altcoins. So the people um, that know what I'm talking about, you know that I'm very grateful for your informations and tips. So shout out to all of you. And um, yeah, now of course the question is, are we seeing a breakout here finally from this annoying $11,500 resistance? It is very possible that we're seeing currently a potential breakout. And uh, currently Bitcoin is running and some of the altcoins are a bit lagging behind, but they already had a very great performance in the la last couple of days and hours, especially a uh, link. Um, even on Digibad, we saw a little bit of movements. Uh, Band is outperforming. Uh, Bancor is outperforming. XRP, Litecoin, and Ethereum are still in this uh, resistance area. Ethereum 400, Litecoin uh, b below $60. So I think it's just a matter of time till they will also break this resistance. And that's why the big question is, are we seeing a clear breakout here on Bitcoin or is this just a form um, is this just the creation of this right shoulder before we're gonna crash? So in the lower time frames, it looks like that we had a healthy bounce here, and also this breakout is confirmed since we also had now a couple of hours closed here above uh, eleven thousand five hundred dollar. Um, the thing is that currently we have the RSI getting an overbought condition in the lower time frames. All right, um, yeah, before we start with uh, the time frames here from the one hour, um, let me just have a sip of beer. I'm drinking Corona beer. So shout out to everyone that is drinking with me a beer right now because today is really hot here and um, the best thing to do is drink a cold iced beer and uh, yeah, and have a look on the Bitcoin price, of course. So, RSI currently is um, getting an overbought condition and if we have a look here on the, um, what do we have here, um, oh, this is the 4 hour time frame, let's go also here into the 1 hour and let me pull out also the stochastic, alright, so we have here the stochastic, which is already in very, very overbought condition in the one hour. I mean, we are also overshooting the Bollinger Band and make this still shifted to the upside. So in the one hour, it looks like that we could be reaching here a potential uh, top. The thing is, is only that we are breaking currently out of this uh, rising channel. So in theory, we should see continuation and that's why we should also go in to the bigger time frames like here the four hour where you can clearly see that after um, closing here this four hour candle again above the 20 moving average we are shooting here to the upside and my dog is currently having some great time so i don't know if you can hear her but um, it's getting quite loud because uh, she just had a nice uh, uh, dinner so nice snack mia i'm still awaiting here uh, to have dinner so i thought i come live before dinner and uh, 
shout out to you beer polka nice to see you back in the chat cheers to you and um yeah let's continue here quickly with the ta because bitcoin is again going through the roof let's see if we are building here the right shoulder of this bearish potential bearish uh, head and shoulders pattern but since we are breaking already out now here from this eleven thousand six hundred dollar it looks like that we could be in here for a potential breakout and everyone that is following me since a couple of days or weeks or months or years um, you can see right now down below here this uh, free market cipher that sometimes I use to benchmark when I do my um, TA I sometimes open up here this free market cipher that you can find on TradingView and compare um, to what my TA tells me if I should go long or short on a buy bit or buy or sell so currently here you can see that we had a green uh, dot that means that it's good to go long or buy in because we should expect here um, a big push to the upside and also here based on the four hour time frame it looks like that we have a lot of room left to the upside we can also open up here the bollinger band because here we were squeezing in this tiny channel and we had here a successful breakout to the upside macd also had the bullish cross this is what i was waiting for now finally we had it uh, stochastic is coming up to overbought condition but also here we still have some uh, room to the upside and of course we can also stay in this area for quite some time so here the breakout is clear right now and um, also RSI still have a lot of room left and the thing is that in the one hour four hour this looks like a clear breakout if we go over to the daily uh, we can also open up already here the Bollinger Band um, if we go over to the daily it's it's gonna be very important that today we're gonna close here also above the resistance so above eleven thousand six hundred dollar if possible this is what we should uh, keep an eye on so i wouldn't immediately right now fomo in into a trade or buy all in maybe wait for confirmation wait for our daily close because even if we would start to pump here we would most likely come down to retest this area here of eleven thousand eight hundred dollar so this area over here uh, also, you can see that the RSI is uh, still overbought and um, if we go over to the Bollinger Band, you can see that here the top would be at around $12,200. So if you are already in a trade right now, so if you're already longing, then make sure that you put a very tight stop loss as soon as we're going to touch here this $12,200 area. Because there I think we could still see some rejection. But in case that we completely overshoot $12,200 and we are moving towards $13,000, then it's almost confirmed that we're also going to reach and test $14,000 again. You also see that the stochastic is here in neutral condition, could have a bullish cross as well, which could indicate that we will see a bigger pump to the upside. Here we have a lot of room left, also MACD is still uh, bullish. And um, yeah, the only thing is that in the RSI we are topping out here a bit. So this is why I'm still a bit concerned. I'm not FOMO in into a trade. As you can see, I have no more trade opened here. Uh, not on Bybit, not on BDR, also not on Femex. Uh, I'm still waiting here for a setup and the thing is also that here on this uh, free market cipher you see a red dot here at the top and also it looks like that we are really topping out here a little bit at least uh, for the short to mid term so maybe in the next couple of uh, days we could see a potential correction but of course if we are able to break through 11,000 build up a support here above then we should be good for the race as we could uh, start to trade sideways here before uh, we're gonna uh, see 14,000 but uh, that's why I'm telling you maybe not following right now but if you're already in a trade just use a stop loss and you should be fine and uh, hello S. Wolfie nice to have you back here in the chat I hope you're also enjoying uh, your pre-dinner time and now let's continue with this because currently you can see that um, we have now a clear sign that this could be a top here we have a red dot although we are getting very close to overbought condition and also in the bollinger band we're right uh, very close to the top so i think we still have room left to go and test 12,000. so in case that you're taking a high leverage trade right now 
maybe with a small amount to write it up 12,000 it's not a bad idea but be careful as soon as we're gonna touch here the top uh, there we could see maybe some take profits or uh, some people closing their trades uh, or even taking a short so be very careful careful right now and um, we can even go into the weekly because also here you can see clear the next fib lines so here as soon as we're gonna break here and start to build up support above eleven thousand eight hundred dollar the next target would be fourteen thousand the last top that we had here and uh, if we are reaching this top here and not getting rejected i think we have very good chances to go straight up to 20k even though at 16k we could see some first initial um resistance here but um i think if we're able to break 14k most likely we're also gonna test you 20k and that's why i'm telling you um that we could see a major correction only after topping out somewhere here maybe between 20 to 30 thousand if uh, also gold is continuously linked to pump and the the US dollar is still losing a momentum here, so it's still losing value. So if we see a continuation of this, there is no need for Bitcoin to go down to correct and also close the CME gap that we have at $9,600. This is the price target that everyone is waiting to buy in and uh, open up long positions. But as long as we're seeing gold, some stocks and also um, the US dollar losing value, there is no need to go down to close these uh, gaps and also to correct heavily. So the Bitcoin has really free road to go even up to 30k as long as gold is pumping, as long as the US dollar is losing value. So maybe we could be in our run right now towards $30,000 before we're seeing a bigger correction. And um, yeah, so that's why make sure that you not miss this boat never sell everything never go all in always always make sure that you're ready for both scenarios and you should be doing fine this short-term analysis is only good when you do a small trades like over on bybit femex or bityard or once you plan like a trade for the long term and currently uh, you're paying a lot of uh, funding rates if you open up long positions i had yesterday or i think two days ago a long open and every eight hours there was quite a heavy funding rate so make sure that um, you never keep a trade for too long open if you're not sure and um, yeah we can also have a quick look on the bitcoin dominance we can stay here in the four hour time frame because as you can see we had here a drop when all these alts were pumping, especially here like a Bancor band, chain link. And now we are seeing a little breather here to the upside. That's also why you see Bitcoin pumping like this and the altcoins are basically, basically staying at the same levels. And uh, if we zoom out, we can go into the daily. Here you can see that we are still right here in the middle of this channel that we were in now since many weeks. And as long as we are not seeing a clear breakout here from this channel, we will most likely bounce up and down from here. So you will see most likely in the next couple of days and weeks, first some alts pumping, then Bitcoin and vice versa. I think most likely from here we're gonna break out to the upside here um, at the end but as long as we're staying in this channel also a lot of uh, altcoins will perform very great so that's why it's also good to be always diversified in uh, in um, uh, some altcoins as well all right and um, yeah if you're not sure what altcoins you should put your money in then make sure to tune in in our discord trading chat and uh, also subscribe here to the channel on twitch and on youtube because we're covering sometimes also some altcoins as well which uh, could be a nice buy and uh, sometimes we also have some trade signals over there all right and now let me quickly check if the stream is um streaming well because right now i'm with my mobile connection if there are some problems just let me know in the chat all right um 
yeah so the question is only is this a fake out or not i'm not fomoing right now in this breakout it looks like a confirmed breakout here at least in the one hour but i want to see a daily close above the previous uh, resistance so i want to see a clear daily close above eleven thousand six hundred dollar before i confirm this uh, breakout so right now it could be still a potential uh, fake out but uh, of course this move is now very very bullish there are some signs that we could see um, a top out here. Also, if we have a look here on the CMEs, you can see that currently we are pushing here right at the top of this wedge which we were in before. I didn't change anything on this uh, potential rising wedge. And here you can see that we are excluding here weekend data. So it looks very different to the spot uh, chart. We didn't see this uh, big uh, pump and dump because the CMEs are not trading on the weekend. And uh, you can see that we came right here at the top. And so far we didn't have a breakout here. So we came up to 12, well actually 11,970. And this is also exactly where our CME gap was lining up. The one that we created where was it about almost about a year ago no here in august 2019 so almost a year ago we created this gap and right now it's getting filled so this future gap that we had here is getting filled right now and of course since this gap is now filled and we have this other one down this big one here at around nine thousand six hundred dollar the question is only when we will go down to fill also this gap the best thing would of course uh, be if from here we're gonna go down close the gap test the new support the previous resistance and then have a final breakout here to the upside this is of course um, the scenario which would be bullish for everyone because we would have the confirmation down here we would close the cme gap and we can go easily all in and uh, start to moon here this would be of course the best scenario but uh, usually uh, uh, here in the crypto space, everything comes different than expected. So that's why I still think we could maybe even go higher from here, maybe even towards 30K before we're going down to correct. Because in that case, we would have more uh, than 50% correction to the downside when maybe no one will expect it. But um, first we have to break here this 12,000 and also $14,000 before that, there is still a high chance that first we're going down to fill this gap down to $9,600. So this is going to be very interesting to see uh, what will come next. All right, guys. So let me know where are you watching from here. It's 6 p.m. exactly. I'm having dinner in about uh, an hour or something. I wanted to relax a bit before dinner having a beer and when i watched here the bitcoin price i saw this nice breakout and i was like let's go a bit live and see what you guys thinking so do you think this is a valid breakout or is it a fake out and also what are your targets and also let me know in case that you are in a position yet or not and um yeah, the altcoins currently are still standing uh, there where, where they were this morning. We have some of them like uh, Bancor, which are performing pretty well. Also Band. Let's have a look on Chainlink as well. Chainlink also, here we could maybe have a potential head and shoulders pattern. Weird that it's not pumping right now. Um, but I'm very bullish on Chainlink. So every dip or every correction that we're seeing is always a good buy opportunity. And uh, let's also open up the daily time frame quickly to have a look where are the moving averages lining up. Yeah, you can see last time I, I adjusted here the Fibonacci retracement what was here at $8.90. We broke out also from this target. We came even up to $10 almost. All right. Uh, yeah, you see now the 20 daily is right here at $8, where we had also previously a lot of resistance and support. This, I think, could be a good buy entry in case of a correction. And um, 
yeah i think basically everything between eight dollars down here to five dollars would be a perfect entry for the next parabolic run in case that we're gonna see here a correction but in the altcoins we can sometimes see really like 100 up to 1000 x within one day when we go really in bull mode so what we have seen so far i think is just the beginning and here all on chain link here we had a perfect nice buy opportunity also here the market cipher was telling you to buy and go long from here it was a perfect entry i mean we didn't need here a market cipher also based here on the, the moving averages and the rsi you would have seen that we had this healthy correction down to the 20 we cooled off also the rsi after being overbought we even had here i think a bearish divergence higher high in the price and the uh, uh, rsi was equal and we cooled off perfectly down to the 50 level in the rsi and had this perfect bounce here and uh, yeah here another potential bearish divergence from uh, this high and this high so from uh, eight dollars eighty to ten dollars higher price but the rsi here had a lower high so also here guys there are some warning signs i wouldn't fomo in with everything you have even here on ethereum we have now a red dot here but of course you never can trust this but also here look at the rsi we are very overbought and um yeah we are also far away from the 20 daily moving average but you see that currently the 20 moving average in the four hour is still holding as a support and we're still within this potential ascending triangle where we could see a big breakout to the upside and the target on ethereum is up here at the next fib line here at 600 dollars if you're able to break 400 and build up a support there of course on the way up to 600 dollar we had some uh, resistance and support here at around $500 but I think as soon as we are able to build up support above 400 also 500 shouldn't be a problem uh, to break here on Ethereum. So let's go back to the Bitcoin chart quickly. Um, let's have a look what is going on here. So if you think that this breakout is valid, then I think it's still not too late to go along right now. I'm not touching this at the moment. Looks like a bit overbought as I told you, but the room to the upside is still a lot here. So we could easily go and test 12k pretty soon. All right. Yeah, I think we will have to give it a couple of more hours here to see if we are able to build up support above $11,600. If you're not sure or if you're not in a trade, then maybe wait for the daily close to have the confirmation that we close above $11,600 and then we're going to see a continuation of uh, this uh, pump. But remember that there are a lot of um, warning signs that uh, we could correct at any time uh, soon. Also here you see the 20 daily moving average, at our, it's at around $10,600, so here down below at around $10,500 we have right now a lot of support, so we can easily go and retest this uh, area and this is what we're going to have to see in case of a rejection of 12k if we are able today to close above 11,600 and also successfully test 12k everything should be good to go to the upside and what we're seeing right now is a valid breakout and not a fake out but for me for myself currently i'm not uh, in a trade and i'm also not following in right now i am waiting here to enter a good uh, long and definitely i'm not gonna short uh, this so if we're gonna have a drop here a major correction i will take it as a chance to open up a big long position buy in cheaper not only on bitcoin but also in some altcoins and remember that if you also want to trade bitcoin uh, altcoins and even gold you can use the exchanges that i recommend you down below here especially this tree here, Bybit, where you can get up to $90 for free. If you use my link, you support the channel and um, also you can get some sign-up bonus. You have, of course, to do some stuff like put some deposit and so on to get the full reward. But Bybit is the one that I recommend you the most if you want to trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOS and XRP. 
then next to that i recommend you bityard here you can trade with tether so if you put uh, some tether here uh, you can only withdraw tether so you cannot buy here um for example cryptos altcoins because here you can trade a lot of uh, altcoins we can have a look here together quickly um you cannot buy them you can only only trade them so if you're doing some gains here you will get the rewards your gains in tether and not in this uh in this coin so that means if you go long on tether you will uh, long on ethereum you will you will get tether and you can of course withdraw it and buy then for example on binance uh with this tether some uh, cryptos that you want so BTR is good if you took out profits in Tether, for example, and you want to short or long a coin anyway, you can do that over here. The link is also down below here. And on BTR, you can get really a lot of uh, uh, bonus. So if you're trading, especially with high leverage, because here you can also trade from 5x up to 100x, you can get up to $258 in bonus. And the other exchange is uh, Femex. Here you can even trade gold. So if you want to trade also gold, gold with your Bitcoin or cryptos, you can also trade Chainlink here, for example. Then make sure to register over on Femex and you find also the link down below here in the video description with my link. You can get up to $72 on bonus. Similar like on Bybit, you have to do some stuff to get the full rewards. And uh, yeah, that's it. These are the three exchanges that I very recommend you to trade with and um, yeah bitcoin is still continuing to pump very nice to see that let's see where we are tomorrow morning if we are able to break and test twelve thousand uh, dollar i'm most likely gonna do another update video but as long as we're trading here in this area here and we're not seeing a daily close i'm still waiting here for the daily close tonight um we have to be very uh cautious here what we are doing so if you're already in a trade congratulations but FOMOing right now is i think too early we need here also the daily confirmation in my opinion all right guys and with that said i'm gonna wrap it up thank you very much for watching cheers for everyone that it was live here on twitch and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye bye